Hello there, I'm Sir Classy. Welcome to another tutorial where I'll show you how to use stock plugins in FL Studio to make really good and catchy Ama Piano melodies. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Alright, so here we have a simple Ama Piano drum track. So we're going to build on this, alright? And in creating Ama Piano melodies, you don't need much most of the time, right? All you need most times are maybe an ARP, which I played with um, Citrus in FL Studio. Then my lead melody with GMS, right? And then my chords with the good old FL keys, okay? And then our counter melody also with GMS. And then our bass played with Citrus, right? So there's a lot of Citrus and GMS in here. So with this, we can create a really good amount of piano song, all right? So let's start with the chords, because most times our chords are going to give us direction for our um, melodies, okay? So I'm going to play on key C, and this is the chords we're going to do. We're going to play a single chord, but we're going to break it up, and this is how the chords will sound. That's how it's going to sound. So I'm going to record it now. As simple as that, all right? So I'm going to quantize this and then we'll listen. Really simple chord progression, right? So the next thing we want to play is our um, lead melody. So I'm going to create a new pattern for that. And it's going to be really catchy and simple. We don't want something too fancy, okay? Just as simple as that. So let's see. So we're going to go in here and quantize it. Yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? Then next, we want to play our counter melody. I'm going to find first empty. Let's see. Let's see. So many ideas to choose from, but we need to keep it really simple still. So let's try. We're going to try that. Let's see how it sounds. And then let's see how it sounds. So I think this will need to start here. Let's extend this a little because sometimes you want to make sure the notes have the right sustain or the right length to it so that it helps build that sustain or make it short and sweet. Depends. It also helps add to the vibe, all right? So let's listen. That sounds good. So what we want to do next, right? Now we've done our chords, our lead melody, and our counter melody. Most times the counter melody just helps support or create a bounce for the lead melody, okay? So now let's add in our ARP. So let's see what sounds good. And for our ARP, we want to play just a single note most times. You don't want to go crazy with the notes, right? So then... Let's record this note and see. If it's not right, we can always change it, all right? Let's see how it sounds.
There's a bit of lag, but it's okay, we can fix that. Let's listen. Mm, let's try. This sounds good, right? This sounds good. So let's see. Let's get in our bass. That sounds really dark and grimy. So also need to get that in, all right? So let's see if it fits. Yes, it sounds good. So we're going to record that. You can see how the bass adds that feeling, makes it sound like it's in the club, right? Makes it sound grimy and hard, even harder than it's already sounding. Let's extend this bass. This sounds good. This sounds good, right? So you can see how with just these simple elements, we have a full sounding track already. It sounds full. It sounds nice, right? You can even make a full song out of this by creating your song structure. And I can quickly just show you. I'm not going to structure it all out, but I can quickly just show you what you can get out of this. For example, you can have your drum starting it out. See, you can then build up your verse, your hook, your chorus. You can even add more layers to this if you like to make it sound even more interesting. Remember, layers always make things more exciting, but you have to layer correctly. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up so other people that need videos like this can easily find it right here on YouTube. See you soon. Cheers.